Good morning. Our last reflection for this week has to do with basically moving into our inheritance. In that passage in, in Romans that we talked about on Sunday, it talks about us being heirs of God and joint heirs or co-heirs with Jesus, that we are we have received a royal inheritance. We have a new identity. It's not a slave identity. It's a son and a daughter identity. And in that identity, there are all kinds of goods from the age to come. That's eternal life. That's the, the, the milieu of the New Testament is that this eternal life is this life from the age to come that is now come into the now. And that's your inheritance. You have a new identity, a new authority over your thoughts, over your life, over, uh, over so many different things that before you didn't, that you are no longer a slave, that you are uh, that you are in, no longer a slave to sin. You're no longer a slave to guilt. You're not a slave to condemnation. Any of that stuff, all this new stuff is yours now in Christ. So like in Ephesians chapter one, Paul says that in Christ, we have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. It, it's not just It's not just some, it's all that God wanted to bless you with all kinds of things. So you might want to go and read that first chapter of Ephesians and look at what in the world does this heavenly uh, does these heaven, do these heavenly riches look like in my life? And how can I start to own these things? Father, would you please, by your spirit, start revealing those things to me so that I can move into them instead of just sitting outside of that? Because and put it this way, if you, if somebody uh, came and let's just say deposited $10 million into your bank account today, if you didn't know that, you would never write checks on it. You would live exactly like you've always lived. You would live according to the resources that you have, not the ones that you don't have. But if then somebody clued you in, hey, take a look at your at your bank account and look at the balance there. You have $10 million more than you had before in your bank account. Now start writing those checks in meaningful ways for, for life. And this is what God has done for you in Christ, that he has made this giant deposit into your account, your life. And he wants you and I to begin to move into this new kind of inheritance. So that's what we're thinking about going into this weekend. Thanks so much for joining me. God bless you.